This video uses version 19288. Hello everybody, my name is Alumanti, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build what I call the power cage. Now, the power cage is one of the most compact and efficient ways to generate power for your space station, ship, or, you know, factories on your planets, or really anywhere that you need uh, efficient power. So really quick, what I'm going to do is go over a couple things about the power reactors. So if you know about the most efficient shape and really their their function, you can go ahead and skip to the part of the video that I've just annotated to. Okay, so if you're still here, um, I need to show you really quickly, because it's very important, what the most efficient shape is for these power reactors. If you don't know this already, you very much need to. So, let's take off symmetry mode really quickly. <coughs> the most efficient power shape for these is going to be one line along the X, Y, and Z axes. Uh, if you look over to the left, you'll see my power per second, uh, my energy per second is sitting at 924. Now this is how I'm going to show you that this is the most efficient manner. If I place a conduit here, it's going to 949. So I'm gaining 25, right? Gaining 25 energy per second. But if I place it here, I go to 1096. That is a huge difference. And the larger your conduits are, the more of a difference that's going to add up to be. Uh, so this is the most efficient shape. There's really no two ways about it. Uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's nice to figure out builds to make it more compact. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to show you here today uh, with this power cage. So what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to essentially establish an area remembering that your power cages can't touch. Now you don't have to build this in symmetry mode, but if you've got the resources to be able to do this, I would just because you can save a lot of time and you'll see your energy kind of skyrocket. Uh, so you need to pick out the borders for your cage, which for me are gonna be here. And it does need to be uh, symmetrical to a degree, like they, they all need to be in line with each other. That doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a perfect square like this, uh, but they, they do need to be able to come in contact and run in contact with one another in order to achieve this cage. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick two of these points that are catty corner from each other, and we're going to build those towers up three. Now I only do this as a, as a uh, Y4 build. Uh, four blocks vertically just because it saves on real estate. It's still fairly efficient. It doesn't necessarily matter how high you go um, So so that's what we're gonna do here and then with the other two towers You're gonna build them up four. And you're gonna take out the bottom one because we're gonna be putting in a gray hole block in there Oh, Screwed that up Put one there in there and then as well you're going to be putting one on top of these uh, original towers so in addition to that what you're probably gonna want to do is you're gonna want to build so that there's uh, diagonally one block between them because remember they can't touch uh, it, it really does kill the efficiency there are times when it will actually drop your energy per second that's that's not a joke I might actually show you that I don't know if these are large enough to pull that off though and then build them just as you did uh, the other ones same height and then we're gonna have the beginnings of our power cage here so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to start with the bottom layer of energy conduits and you don't actually have to go in here into the advanced uh, build panel but I do just because it makes it significantly easier for me uh, and you pick one axis to work at a time just because it's faster that way so you're going to connect the, the blocks here. You're going to connect this power conduit to the uh, gray hole block. If you're connecting a conduit to another conduit, you're doing it wrong. The conduit always needs to be connected to a gray block. And this is to help keep uh, the, the shapes from touching each other so as to keep your power draw optimal. Okay, so we've got that axis done. We're going to switch to the z-axis build really quick. Do the same thing here. Oop. 
now you've got the bottom portion of your power cage done. So basically what you do is you do the exact same thing, but now you do it for the top. And you go to the other axis. And that's it. That is your power cage. Now, if you look off to the left, you'll see that we're getting just about 70,000 E per second. Let's see if that drops. No, it doesn't drop. That gets you 7,500. Huh. It's fairly weird. I've never seen that before. Um, <clears throat> but yes, there are, there are some builds where if you're building them correctly, that right there, there you go. You can see there that it's actually dropping the efficiency. It's literally dropping it by about... 8,000. That's insane. You're going from about 70,000 E per second to 61,000. So that kind of proves that you can't let these touch or you won't be getting the most you can out of your power cages. Now what's good about these shapes as well is that you can kind of fill them in with just about anything you want. You can fill them in with power capacitors to store more energy. You can build them, you know, fill them in with uh, shield rechargers or shield capacitors. Pretty much anything you want so that you can save on real estate. And remember that using the advanced build mode, it will never overwrite blocks unless you have like unless you're trying to erase them so you can kind of just use the advanced build mode to to fill it in if you if you feel the need to um, and that is the power cage i hope you enjoyed the video again again my name is alumanti and uh if you want to see more tutorials or if you have a suggestion for what you'd like to see or even if you have corrections to this video please send me a dm drop a comment and please subscribe i hope you guys learned something thank you very much